Hi, I'm Julia, and this is Julia at Home. I'm a homeschooling mom to a six-year-old girl, a four-year-old boy, and a two-month-old girl. And today I'm going to be talking about my four-year-old's curriculum for the year. And this is Montessori inspired. Um, and again, today I'm just talking about his individual subjects. So if you want to see our family subjects, which I highly encourage you do because many of our subjects fall under the family subject category, they're more Charlotte Mason inspired, but please check out that video. I will link it above as well as below. And this includes things like um, our foreign languages, Italian, science, art, and more. So again, please check out that video. Today, I'm going to be talking about our Montessori inspired preschool, or I might call it junior kindergarten, since he's got one last year of our preschool before kindergarten. Um, and I'm just gonna jump in. So starting with reading. We are doing the Montessori reading sequence. So I did a separate video going more in depth on the Montessori reading sequence that we use. Um, I will also link that. So if you're interested, please check that out. Where, where we are right now is he he's really close to knowing really well all of the single letter phonograms and we teach phonetically. So um, T says T, so he'll just learn as T um, or Z is Z. Um, so that's how he's learning all those and we are going to start on some of the double letter ones and then um, Once I feel like he's starting to get more comfortable with those we're going to introduce the movable alphabet, which is just um, Wooden letters that he will be able to write words with um, So that's where we are with reading. I'm really excited to move on with the sequence. He's had a really fun time we can do a lot of fun games and activities and everything. And I talk about more of those in that Montessori reading video. So please check that out again if you're interested. Um, for writing, he's doing metal insets, which are, um, again, another Montessori material where they're, they're just shapes that have um, their plates. And you trace along the outside of one and along the inside of another um, to make the shape. Um, and... It's actually more difficult than it sounds and it really helps strengthen the hand and you learn how to use the pencil and he's been doing this for a little while in addition when he's drawing and coloring whatever I I pay attention to how he's holding his writing instrument so he's he's pretty much in a good habit now of holding it correctly so that's that's good and we will continue working on that and strengthening his hand with the metal insets in addition, um, we trace the sandpaper letters when we're using them, and I have um, I have a salt tray because I find that it doesn't like attract uh, bugs and such like sugar would, um, and I did not have sand, so um, I made a little salt tray. Although I do have sand now, so it is possible I could switch it out. Um, but this is what I have for right now, and I, I even I just I keep it with a lid on it um, so that icky things don't get in here. But the idea is that he would. Um, trace the sandpaper letter and then trace it in here um, with his hand and then you can just shake it to, to have it go away. Um, so that's where we are. We're also going to be working on some pre-writing worksheets. Um, worksheets aren't something that we use a lot. It's not really something that is used in the Montessori classroom a lot. Um, but I like I, I like them at this stage for, um, you know, kind of doing these kind of movements because we do do cursive or loops um, and getting the kids to cross that line is sometimes hard when they're learning the letters and you have to go down and do the swoop. Um, so I like those and, and what I'm doing is I set up, I hit, he picked out a binder and I'm gonna put um, some pre-writing worksheets, maybe some seasonal ones, some fun ones, um, in laminated like pouches, I guess. Um, not fully laminated, but just those pouches that you stick in bi viewing binders that are plastic basically and then he can use um, a dry erase marker on it and redo it and then when I feel like he's gotten really good at that sheet we might do it in um, you know a marker or a colored pencil or something and write the date on it so that we're moving forward with that and when I feel like he's made good progress with all of these things um, we will go on to tracing numbers and letters on paper so that's writing for math we are using the Montessori numbers uh, materials and I'm hoping to do a separate video on this as we go because um, it's it's more complex than I can do in this one curriculum video. Um, but we start with number rods, which are like the red rods. I will link to my uh, Montessori sensorial video because I, I feel like if you're interested in this, you'll probably be interested in that and that kind of leads into 
the Montessori math materials, um, but the number rods um, have you counts from one to 10. Um, and then things like the spindle box, I kind of made my own out of sticks and toilet paper rolls. Um, uh, so those are some of the, the materials. And again, I will, um, and we'll, we're just at the beginning of that, but he's really interested in numbers. And um, I actually have the sandpaper numbers here behind me and he's gone through these already just because he was interested in them and I didn't want to stop him <laughs> from something he was interested in. So um, we will continue kind of just matching numbers to object, like to that many items and, and different activities to play with numbers and learn more about numbers themselves. Um, but not so much on like any addition or subtraction or anything like that right now. Along with that, we will be doing Montessori geometry. And I did mention the sensorial video. Many people consider geometry part of Montessori sensorial and would want to do all the geometry activities before you got to the numbers activities. But I have found that my kids are ready for the numbers before we've gotten through the geometry materials. And at that point, my daughter wasn't really interested in geometry materials, but I'm hoping my son will be more interested. So I'm just going to do them concurrently here. Um, so this includes um, the geometry cabinet, which just has various shapes. Um, sometimes it has different sizes of the same shape, like there's a drawer of circles and a drawer of triangles. Um, and so we will do the lessons that correspond to those. Um, there are also um, solids, which are like the 3D shapes, like the sphere and the pyramid and such that we will go through next. Um, and, and I will, um, I'm not sure if it'll be one, it'll probably be two separate videos on the geometry and the number Montessori materials, but I, I will try to make those videos to show you um, more specifically what those are, because again, it's hard to get into that in detail in this curriculum video, um, but I will be doing that concurrently. So that what that's going to look like is um, each week we'll probably have one numbers activity that we're doing and one geometry activity that we're doing and I will present it to him and then he can work with it as many times as he wants until he's comfortable with it. Um, and then also, this is mentioned in our family subjects video, but we will be doing um, what I'm calling special math subjects. So we are doing time, geometry, and money. And these are more so aimed at my first grade daughter, um, but he's interested. So um, I have books, um, for example, for geometry, some of the circumference series, um, that, so I will be doing those books like he's included. We do that during our family morning time. Um, and so he'll just take out of it what he, what he can. Um, and if it's beyond him, then that's, that's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not giving them necessarily, you know, worksheets they have to complete or anything like that in, in connection to these. Um, it's just kind of something fun for us to explore together, especially because both my kids seem to be in a sensitive period for math. So he is still also doing some practical life and some sensorial. We've done all the major sensorial materials that you can think of, like the, the pink tower and the brown stair. Again, you can watch that video if you want to know more about those and how to use them. Um, but I've put those away for the time being. Um, and But we may still be doing things like um, smell, like matching smell, smelling bottles. Um, I might just do some fun tasting ones, especially around the holidays. Um, and I'll have both the kids do those. And then um, he will also be doing some practical life. Um, so some of the more, I want to say advanced practical life, but like um, the buttoning um, and know, polishing, th things like that. Um, and also he's kind of, it's kind of moving from the set practical life activities into more life skills as well. We're going to be incorporating more chores into our day um, and, uh, working on practical life skills like that. So he might work on buttoning clothing as addition, in addition to buttoning uh, just the button frame. Um, but we'll, yeah, we'll be doing more uh, of the life skills type things. And, and I, I'm not thinking of things off the top of my head right now, but I do have some ideas written down and um, we'll be doing more of that as the year goes on. Um, I also want to mention that um, I do want to do music with him. So um, my daughter is taking piano lessons for music this year, and I am not ready to sign him up for music lessons. So we're going to try to continue with Preschool Prodigies. I I really like this program. My my kids like watching it, but they haven't really participated in the way that I would want them to. Like They're supposed to um, be copying and responding to Mr. Rav on the screen, and they haven't done that. But my son seems like he's more likely to... He's, he's more ready to do that than my daughter was. So I'm going to try again and see if I can find a time with just him watching it. 
Um, and I'm hoping without my daughter's influence that maybe he'll actually do it. So we'll, we'll see if we can make that work. That would be his music. Um, but we also, and we sing and do composer music study. So um, he's still getting exposed to it. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is um, one of the sensorial activities is using the bells. And I have, I have some bells and you, um, you can put them in order based on high to low or low to high. Um, you can also match, there's matching bells so I have two sets. Um, so I might just pull those out for him more and we might play some games where I pick two bells and I, he has to tell me which one's higher or lower. Or if we listen to this is a G and this is a C and this is a, um, an E, then like I might, you know, maybe have him turn around and play and see if he can guess which one it is. Um, so if either in addition to, or if preschool prodigies isn't, isn't working for him, then I might do more of that. But, um, hopefully when he's in first grade, I can also start him with an instrument. So I'm not going to stress out about it too much. It's just something that I really want for my children to have that musical background. I think it's so good in so many ways. And the last thing I want to mention is that um, in the spring, I'm hoping to sign him up for T-ball. He loves baseball. He loves it. And he will, my my father gives gifts him the MLB TV, um, uh, you know, the, the MLB TV every year so he can sit and watch games. Um, so he'll sit and just like stare at the game for a while and then he'll just emulate what they're doing and he likes being the catcher and all that. So I'm really excited for him. That's something that's on my radar. Um, I would consider it physical education, um, and it'll be also a special thing for him. So I believe that's all of his individual subjects. Um, again, if you haven't, take a look back at the family subject video to see what else we're doing because it is a full curriculum um, of lots, lots of different subjects. Um, he is so fun right now. He is so into learning, especially the numbers. I have to say that's a big thing for us. I think we're going to fly through the Montessori math and numbers sequence. Um, yeah, I love doing this homeschool thing. It's really exciting to be starting a new year. And um, I hope this is helpful to all of you. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my videos be seen and let YouTube know that you did like this video. Um, go back and look at some of my other Montessori inspired videos. If you are interested, I will have them linked and um, I hope you look out for more in the future. And until then, I will talk to you later.